What's up, you two? Welcome to the Renegade. As you can see, I am working on something. I'm working on my turbo truck. Go to Auto 3 Garage. The link would be down in the description for this build right here. This is going to be the truck that will be towing my Renegade to mud parks and all that little stuff. And man, I'm really excited, man. I can't wait till I drive this truck. I really can't. Um, we so close, but we so far. Um, we got little minor big things that we got to get accomplished on this thing but uh i hope y'all enjoyed this small little video of the renegade man um i love this four-wheeler i appreciate it um it's very humbling having this four-wheeler it is but however we do have one issue one issue nothing catastrophic as you can see the renegade is right here so what i had to do like the bike runs fine and stuff. I ain't had no issues like with no electrical uh, gremlins or anything of that nature. I'm gonna lift up the hood real quick. It's probably gonna take me a little bit to do it. Yeah, let me put y'all down. So guys, as you can see, I have a cap missing. So I have a nearby dealership I never called them to get like a cap to see or to see if they had one in uh, stock. Um, for some reason, I think I put my own attire somewhere and I lost it and I cannot find it. Um, but I thought I had a leak. But um, th and the reason why I thought I had a leak because I had a uh, fluid and all that like running down um, on this holes and everywhere. But that was due to this, um, I guess this overflow, overflow line, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I had to bleed out the air bubbles out of this system. I guess when it got to a certain temp, if uh, you know the pressure built up, it used to uh, spew out. But what I did, I filled it all the way up. It's still at the same level where it was at before. I ran the four wheeler, let it idle to get up temp, and then I would uh, press on the gas uh, and allow the air bubbles and stuff to come out. But that's the only issue on this bike, and we just need to clean it up from the uh, last ride. Anyway, good bike. Um, I don't have no complaints. Like I said, the bike was acting weird like a few months ago, but I believe it was that fuse on the backside that kept getting loose for some odd reason. And it's just been acting weird. It's kind of weird how much these bikes cost and they can have like small electric gremlins uh, going around. But um, overall, the bike has done me well. It hasn't abandoned me just yet, fingers crossed. And pretty much it. And um, if anybody know anything, like please comment down. I'm looking for um, a winch, uh, the synthetic rope uh, winch. I'm trying to buy that. I've been trying to look around. I've been trying to uh, buy that for the longest because I want to get rid, I want to get rid of that crap right there is already stuck because of my brother and sisters so if i can get that uh sorted um that'd be good and one other thing um uh, i don't know what they call is it called a high riser uh i want this like bar to like be up like two inches and and i told y'all i'll order a whole part for like i guess the the handle bracket piece I ordered it for this side, but it was the wrong side. So let me know which side do they like go off of. Is it like left or right or right or left? Like how how do they like by looking at this way, is it going to be left to right or is it going to be left to right? Y'all let me know. Um, but I need this side facing forward. Uh, this piece right here. I have an extra piece for this side just in case. And uh, these things go for a hundred bucks. So um, pretty costly just for this little piece right here. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I actually want to get it now and have both pieces. Then I had somebody asking me about an exhaust. Do I want to put an exhaust on here? Yes, I'm planning on putting an exhaust on here. Yes, I'm planning on getting mud tires. Yes, I'm planning on doing clutches. Yes, I'm planning on doing all that. But um. Like I said, I want to enjoy this bike stock. It's really fun stock, but I know um, with the tune and all that, different wheels set up and stuff, uh, it would be pretty sick. And other than that, um, 
yeah, y'all get y'all a bike and start riding. If y'all need any tips on how to get a bike, I mean, it's pretty sure it's not rocket science to get one. If you really want something, you go out there and get it. Uh, like I said, I've been wanting a bike for a long time, um, and I finally got one. Uh, do I plan on getting another one in the future? Probably yes. Um, I really want to go towards a dirt bike now. I've been inspired by riding dirt bikes after going to the trails, seeing dirt bikes, and seeing videos on dirt bikes in particular. I'm thinking about getting a dirt bike, hopefully. But we don't know. Like I said, I got this truck right here I got to worry about. I got to put um, money into that, realistically. I got my car. I got to put money in there, realistically. I mean, it's a great car, daily driver. Uh, I got a coolant issue uh, hose on it that damn cut so we gotta replace that hose and just fill it up with coolant and then I have my Porsche right here my old school uh, well classic car been driving perfectly fine and see the thing about this car I'm thinking about putting the LS in here or I might just you know leave it as is uh, that's my plans with it but I am uh, in the process of repainting it hopefully sometime and sending it down as you can see, it's sanded down. Just got to go down to, I believe, 320. So I got to make sure it's like, you know, send all these deep scratches and stuff our right, way. So, yes, guys, I got other things uh, in my hands that I'm trying to get done. And that will get done, uh, especially when you got work um, that could um, tie up with things. So I'm actually... I'm on getting that Tahoe done so I can carry the Renegade on the backside. Like, it's going to be really dope and really cool. And, um, yeah. So, let's get in this video, man. Y'all will see some crazy footage uh, from the backyard. And um, y'all stay blessed out there. Stay humble. And, shoot, stay tr true to yourself, man. For real. Stay true to yourself. Be yourself. And that's my... Uh, that's my video. Um, like I said, I'm really thankful. Um, I had nothing before, and I'm having it now here and there. So I'm appreciative. And every time I look at this renegade, man, it's always put a smile on my face. But anyway, let's get into this video, man. Let's cut all the talking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I'm thinking about doing some videos. I don't know. I'm trying to do something different. Um, that is pretty much it. Pretty much it. See ya, man.